The old John Deere 8640 roars to life. I do some grinding. Pops does some welding. And we all get to burn a little bit. We got a lot going on around the farm today. So let me walk you through it. All right. Let's work. It's the 2020 crop year. My name is Matthew Sliger. That's right, we're out in California planting rice by air. Welcome to the rice fields. Ride with me from planting to harvest. This is California Rice, my friends. You're watching Rice Farming TV. We were just so busy today, I didn't even have time to pick up the camera and narrate or explain what was going on. So I'm going to give you a walking tour through the equipment yard and out into the rice fields so I can thoroughly and better explain everything that we did today. First off, you can see behind me our 340 case magnum and 245 are hooked up to our land planes. We basically just moved them out of the mud holes that they were in to higher ground so we could more comfortably work on them. But I'll go through how we check the land planes in a future episode because we're just not quite there yet. However, let me move us just into the shade a bit over here to the old 7240. Earlier, the 7240 was hooked up to our ridger. You remember the ridger from last year's videos? We straddle the levee, put the ridger down, and that helps build the levee back up to ensure the infrastructure of the levee. Remember, our fields are divided into checks, into smaller sections. This helps with irrigation control and water management. If we don't build our levees back up with the ridger, well, then we just lose control of water as it leaks through or levees blow out, meaning we're less efficient with water and we know we're in California and that's a big no-no. Anyway, the 7240 was hooked up to the ridger. Larry did some nice grinding work on some cracks Pops came back later and welded them up nice and neat. Cool, huh? All right, now let's move further into the shade and into the equipment yard, our, our bay, if you will, because it's pretty rough out here. Guys, can't wait to show you this. 8640 has moved out of its hibernation and into the bay, into the drive here so we can work on it. We're charging the batteries because early in the morning when we tried to start it, guess what? What are you measuring there? These are group 31s, I guess. You gonna try to start it? Okay. going but it's good seeing the old 8640 up and running first time this year started right up after we charged the batteries that's cool yeah started right up we've moved it over here haven't done much work on it we're gonna wash it down get it nice and pretty Bob still wants to sell it, even though it saved us last year. Even though we still have those mud holes out in the field that troubled us last year. You guys remember that video? I keep referencing it. The day the 8640 saved us during the 2019 planting season. Link is in the description. Anywho, there's the 8640. You can see here, we're just charging the batteries overnight. So hopefully 
when we come tomorrow I want to move it around work on it it's gonna start right up beautiful all right so we now need to continue back out into the Sun and I'm just going to go over a couple of things last episode we were working quite hard on our tillage discs well obviously we've unhooked the tillage disc so we could hook them up to the triplanes so tillage discs are just kind of chilling out here one of these tillage discs had a pretty intense crack I know in the last episode I tried to show you a crack but couldn't come across one. Oh yeah here it is right over here so pretty intense crack you can see right through there so uh, kind of shaded right now by the camera my bad so there you go there's a good shot of that crack and speaking of cracks oh okay well we'll walk right over here we just switch hands we'll just walk right through the headers watch your eyes because these fingers can be treacherous here of course is where we unhooked the ridger let's see if I can show you pops his nice welds right there yeah he's an artist with the welder that's for sure all right so that's where we parked the ridger that's not what I really wanted to show you because earlier in the morning we finished with our tillage disc we have four tillage discs and this bad boy over here had quite a few cracks on it and I started the morning off by bringing the welder over here so I could use the electricity to grind and clean up the cracks and then Pops was able to come back and weld them up quite nicely. One thing we found, three seals on the hydraulic rams here are leaking. You can tell that because you can see the hydraulic oil. You can see even the dead bugs stuck in the hydraulic oil that's dripped down. This bad boy had seven cracks on it and three mm, seals that are leaking on the hydraulic rams which lower and raise the wings. Of course, we had to unhook the tractor take off the hydraulic lines to start welding because if we didn't electricity could fry the computers inside the cab so what we're going to do now is hop into the pickup I'm gonna take a short drive over to the first rice fields that we drained because as I mentioned at the top of the episode we did some burning what we did today out in the field is hopped on our four-wheelers with our forestry burn cans and our burn mixture half diesel half gasoline kids don't play with fire please I'm a trained professional <coughs> anyway and quite simply we lit the weeds on our levees on fire time to burn some levees and I find a shovel back in my hand not to shovel out mud but to clear out weeds around our rice boxes so that I don't burn them up. But I uh, forgot my lighter. Got my lighter. burned them down to the ground as you can see we got a nice clean burn 
as you can see behind me, and it worked out really well. You can just see this entire levee here has been cleared of weeds. Now this is doing three very important things for us. One, it's, as I mentioned earlier, clearing the levees of weeds so that when we ridge the levee with the ridger, we're not just mushing weeds. The disc blades are able to penetrate through the weeds and actually do the work that it's supposed to do, build the levee back up by disking the dirt. If the weeds are in the way, the ridger just can't do that as well. So with the weeds out of the way, the ridger works much more efficiently and we're able to build the levee back up, fill in any rat holes or just any low spots that have been washed away through the flood irrigation or the winter decomposition water that was out here earlier. So second thing it does, any fungus spores that are out here, diseases that are out here that have wintered over in the levees, we just destroyed them. Disease management, specifically fungus. Also, slightly related, any insect eggs that can harm the rice, the baby rice especially, that have wintered over in the levee, they've just been torched. We really cleaned up this levee. So yeah, things got quite hot out here because <laughs> 65 degrees, sun burning down on us, next to flames controlling them, making sure everything's okay. No smoke in the sky now, so that's a positive thing. Well, I want to thank everyone who checked me out on Facebook. I saw a surge in my Facebook likes on my rice farming TV page. I've got to do a little video right now for Facebook. As I said, I'm doing different kind of blog content, vlog content on Facebook and not posting my YouTube videos there. So I'm doing separate content for Facebook, additional content if you will because my priorities still are these YouTube videos I put a little bit more time in them and energy on Facebook I'm kind of just giving you updates as I go along so I'm gonna do that right now if you're not on Facebook check out rice farming TV on Facebook and thanks for watching everybody if you have any questions let me know in the comment section below I might do an FAQ video quite soon because I've been getting a lot of great questions Thanks for watching everybody. Take care.